So Bharat is back in his old university. And how does it feel? Happy that I don't have to be in the university anymore. <laughs> When you're doing your studies and stuff it's nice you learn once in a while but you also worry about money and things like that and like once you're done with the studies you can start earning and everything man but this looks crazy i didn't know yeah those are the big exhausts from the bottom did you lock the car <laughs> real life from here it will not lock So I do not remember this universe, this building being there at all. This entire building is definitely new. It didn't used to be there two years ago. Crazy how much can change. This is the oldest part of the university, the main building. Has it been two years? 2019 I finished my masters, 2021. University department. This is generally the department for management. Let's um, see. Here in the Gebäude D, the building D, we used to have a castle. Wait, this is Gebäude D, and this is Gebäude C and D. And of course, it is closed on a Saturday, but uh, generally, like you can go inside, and there's also like rooms to sit and you know prepare for your presentations and stuff. This was a, a defense here, essentially, part of the university. Very nice rooms and stuff. So behind me is building E. And in the building E, we used to have all of the people who were in the admission part of the university administrative system. So whenever you have anything to do with exams, you want to talk about you getting immatriculated into, into the university and so on, your first steps are always going to be building E. In building E, everything is done. So this is Gebäude E. And it has two entrances. This is the second, which you generally don't use. And this is the NIT. NIT is the Northern Institute of Technology. And this is where generally the students who want to do MBA, they are studying here on the weekends. And many students who are doing these dual degree programs during the weekdays, they have their normal studies in the university. On the weekends, they have the studies at NIT. And this is again Gebäude E, but the first entrance. This is the main place where you come for the admission and stuff. Everything is done directly <laughs> here for different kind of study programs and so on. We are setting up right now to record a video. Right in front of my Audimax building, this is where we used to have a lot of lectures, a lot of exams. And this is also the place where everything started. I started my YouTube channel after I started my masters in TUHH in 2016. And then afterwards also kept on doing it further with all of the nice encouragement I received from you guys so that I could show you how studying in a German university looks like. Again, it was not easy because at first I got a rejection from TUHH because my ECTS were too less. And then afterwards I compiled everything, wrote a reconsideration letter. It was a proper fight for the admission, but I'm very happy that I was able to study here and have a lot of nice memories about this university. From 2016 to 17, I was studying structural engineering at TU Hamburg and then afterwards I shifted my course from structures to management and engineering. So at that time I started studying my um, German taught master's program which is International Wirtschafts Engineering. Both the structures and the management one were both in German. So many times when people complain that maybe I cannot study in a German taught program or something, I just want to remind them that like I'm not the brightest student either and I was able to like do it uh, with a relative, I think, ease it was not so difficult that i had to like kind of like fail in every single exam over and over again i failed in one exam and that was accounting but it was very very difficult i think that, that was one of the most difficult exams i had and i had nightmares about it like you know failing over and over again because in germany if you fail in an exam more than three times then you're never allowed to study that particular field ever again 
Now the Audio Max that you see behind me, this was having a very ugly color previously. It was just like I think um, beige or something and it just was very plain. But then afterwards in 2019 when I was finishing my studies, around that time they started like drawing the these all of these figures that you see behind and robots, robots and stuff and it started looking like very fancy and a very let's say tech and nerdy university and many, many people were happy about the design because also when we had the design selection of this Audio Max, like what kind of like different graffitis and stuff could come inside, we received an email, all of the students of TUHH and then everybody could vote that like we want this kind of design or this kind of design and then in the end they selected this particular design. I also voted for it so was really happy to see that actually on the building. And now behind me is the building F, here we used to have our cafe and a small um, this cafeteria which we called campus suite and you can go inside and you can get buckets you can get brutch and it's actually a very popular coffee shop in germany this is also the same building where we are essentially having the nit where people do the mba program during their masters and there are also like some other small companies i think like which have registered themselves here i will like see real quick what is that because sometimes the university allows you to use the university address if you're starting up with the company and so on and you don't have a place to rent so then they can also provide you these things now if you see even further that was the building d where i used to study this building there we used to like go down the stairs when the classes would end and then afterwards like come out here and for the mensa we would just like walk down here completely at the um, end and then we would have the stairs at the very end and I will also show you how the Mensa used to be. The Mensa is directly in front of the library of the university. It's very nice. Then we have the most important building that you would find for TUHH when you're starting your admission and that is going to be the building E. Building E is the main place where you come and you will be doing all of your admission procedure and you will be like you know submitting the documents for the matriculation and so on and also whenever you have any kind of problems with your exams and so on everything will happen directly here. Also another interesting thing is sometimes if you have to submit documents in TUHH and you do not want to you know send it via post or something there's a letterbox right here in front of uh, the Eingang one or the entrance one of building E and you can just put the documents directly inside and it's very nice then. So this is the graffiti at the Audi Max looks really really beautiful and behind me you see a small arena where we have a lot of nice memories of just hanging out uh, during the sun with the friends and sometimes we would have some kind of lectures and if it would be winter and we are having the lecture and there's sun outside the professor would just say if they're like you know five ten students or something okay like we're going to go outside we are going to like do the rest of the stuff outside in the sun and which used to be very nice and i think like people really uh, were happy about it but again this did not used to happen during the work days but on saturday sunday if we have some kind of block appointments you know small um, lectures or something then we would just directly have them here okay now behind me you see is the audimax 2 and this is a place where you also have the mensa or the canteen where students can go and they can get very affordable food and the food is also very tasty you have some kind of like you know variations happening every single day of the week so that it's not the same old thing that you're eating over and over again you also have both vegetarian and non-vegetarian options here then afterwards if we turn around you see behind me is the ATM of Sparkasse and many students were then you know having their bank accounts with Sparkasse they can take out the money without any kind of problems here because then if you're from other banks you are generally charged some three to five euros if you're taking out the money from another bank account so that's very convenient then we have the campus shop I never used the campus shop for a very long time and the only time I started to realize that hey here you can find a lot of interesting things are when we were getting the scripts of different kind of subjects and things like that. You can also buy pens and you know stationery, you can get coffee, all of other sorts of things directly in the campus shop. Then we have the library and the university library of TUHH is actually very cozy, it's small and you do not have so many places but enough places that anybody who wants to study is still able to come to the university and is able to like get the books and study directly here and of course you have to be super quiet in the library and that is the rule everywhere you can very easily borrow books with the help of some machines which are directly there so that it is a self checkout and you can also submit the books directly on your own and now afterwards if we turn more we are going to see that there's a park uh, behind us, which is the small park uh, in TUHH. And the interesting thing was that during my entire time, 
when I was studying structural engineering. I never had to do anything in this side of the university. That is like the Audimax and the building E and the building C and D and so on. All of the lectures took place in this side of the university. So that is essentially the side of engineering. Like a lot of like, you know, engineering classes are taking place there and in the Audimax one. And then you have the management side, which is essentially just the front of the university. And this is the building C and D. And this is where most of my classes during my management studies used to happen when I was doing my masters here. And during my engineering, we rarely ever had a class here, but in management, most of the times you will be having all of your classes directly here. And now this behind me is one of the oldest uh, buildings of the university. And a lot of the events and parties, everything generally takes place in this building. Hey guys, so <laughs> this doesn't happen in Germany very often, but we met Robert and Robert uh, was watching our YouTube videos previously too when he was in Nigeria. I'm here actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. And Robert, so tell me a bit about yourself. How did you come across the channel and everything? Um, okay, so I came to Germany in 2018 for my master's in machine learning. And I'm always someone that is very, um, that I like to check about things and also about investments. So his first YouTube channel I saw was about getting internship or something like that. Then after I started like following him, then I saw more about finance because I tried to invest through N26 and stuff like that. <laughs> then and also like um, taxis and the best of the video recently was the one about the election. So about taxis, yeah. um, immigration and stuff like that. So to be honest, like it's a whole lot of help because everything I see is in German and my German is like not so good. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, it's so happy, I'm so happy to see you here. And um, I couldn't. I would just say this face looks familiar <laughs> and I felt like just let me ask a question. Maybe it's gonna be the person, maybe it's not the person, then yeah. it's fine actually. Yeah. But so nice to meet you and I won't say that continue doing the work because you are helping a lot of us, not only immigrants but also even some German because some of them many people don't really have information and getting this information is really very important because German is, German is kind of a closed system and mm -hmm. if you don't really know the opportunities you have, you don't really explore those opportunities yeah. Yeah. thank you so much robert yeah thanks and nice to meet you yes yeah, you too. have a nice day all right so if you're new in the university you can always orient yourself with all of these maps which you will find everywhere in the university the main building you will always see am schwarzenberg campus so that is essentially the main building the building a and then it just goes uh down like with building c d e f so on and like the L M N O P Q. Q is also a building where you essentially like come, you study, like I did not know about it, I only came to know about it from my friends too, so just make sure that you kind of like, you know, pay visits to these different kind of buildings, you will learn a lot of things, you will know, okay, like maybe there's a different kind of event happening, there's a small cafe or something, there's some kind of party happening on the weekend, so all of those details you would generally find if you're like, you know, just like taking around once in a while and like just see different kind of things. A lot of things you will also find on the university notice board in the Mensa, so if you are looking for some kind of apartment, accommodation and so on, you can also find all of those things directly there so this is essentially the main thing Alina is making the final recordings there and with this we are going to essentially close up our campus tour not even a campus tour I mean it wasn't really a campus tour it was more about like showing you different parts of where I used to have more things to do in the university but a lot of things started from this university if I never shifted from structural engineering to management. I would have never started Big Academy, I would have never started Brandwise, I would have never started marketing. I would be just a civil engineer working in a structural engineering company and like starting at a very like you know very very less salary and the money that I for example now make in a month or something I would have made in a year if I would be working as a civil engineer there. So this was a huge difference that essentially TUHH provided to me, like gave me this opportunity and also the professors that they allowed me to work on my own projects, on my own things which would not be possible in many other universities in many other countries. So I'm very grateful to have studied here. I'm very happy about the fact that I'm a TUHH alumni and I would be guiding more students who want to come for TUHH or any other German universities. See you later. Bye.